All right, Dinger 51 here. Uh, I've been closed out for about four days, and I want to get out a little bit. I got about an hour and a half to two hours. It's raining here, and I am going to go out and try. Um, I've uh, pretty much sealed off my unit. I don't believe there's any water that can get through here, and uh, we'll go out and see what we can find. I might get a little deeper uh, in the ground today. We'll see. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, I decided to stay uh, under some trees today because of the rain. Uh, and I'm going to be hunting a shelter in a very, very old uh, park, uh, you'll see. Uh, but I'm going to stay on this area right here under trees. There's a, uh, there's a house. Sorry about the car. There's a, uh, not a house, but a, uh, a little community center. Very old, though. Very old community center. And it's seen a lot of, uh, a lot of activity here. Uh, so we're going to try around the area, try and stay dry, and uh, let you know if I find okay. anything. Okay, uh, got a weedy hair. Uh, only about, oh my goodness, about two and a half inches down, that's it. Uh, so it's a 56. Maybe I'll find my first silver today. Alright, I wish I could have showed uh, some of the digs, but uh, as you can see, uh, <laughs> it's a muddy mess out here. Uh, you know, well, uh, I'll clean up my... Uh, uh, my detector here and hopefully I'll be able to show you that it's nice and clean if it's a little dirty that's okay but I protected it well uh, no no problems and any of my signals uh, the water didn't get in didn't fry my machine so uh, it can give you a, a little idea as to where I went I tried to get over to that uh, a volleyball court out there funny I found a charm I believe it was a charm it was pretty muddy I found some holes though that were previously dug which is nice to know and goes to show you that there isn't any place that's uh, been hunted out and I found a nickel there as well so I don't think whoever was digging there didn't dig any of the low targets uh, I started to go by that old tree out there I can't zoom in on my camera uh, and uh, didn't find anything old but uh, I did find what I think is a lead shot uh, so it might be old I'll show it to you cleaned up maybe some of you can help me identify and uh, date the, uh, uh, the lead shot uh, but that's about it. Uh, you know, it's kind of nice out here when it is uh, sunny out. And the reservoir out here is pretty cool to hunt. We'll talk to you later. All right, well, got done cleaning up a little bit. Looks a little bit better. Uh, you know, for my finds for the day, I have a wheat scent. I have five pennies, three dimes, a nickel, a quarter, um, a what's it. I thought it was a charm. I thought it may have hung like this way, but it looks like it's... Uh, a piece of lead something like that uh, this I found um, I found this oh uh, probably about three weeks ago in the ground it's white it's lead it's um, it's very heavy it rang up as lead um, and then this is what I found today and I don't know if we can focus in on it really well we'll see there we go and uh, for some reason it has this in the middle I don't know if it was a part of an end of a tool or I'm not familiar with any artillery uh, in the Civil War age or era, I should say. Uh, but we did have, close to us and over where I was hunting, uh, we did have a, I believe, a Company G that went off to the Civil War. And uh, so if anybody knows anything about this, uh, let me know. But uh, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, it's still raining out, uh, but it was fun. Cleaned up well. I'm happy that I protected the unit. And uh, hope everyone's having a good day and a good week. Happy hunting. Well, I wanted to include this. I found this last week. I didn't have a chance to post it. Kind of a cool find. Ends up being a, uh, a I think it's what, a slipknot holder for the Boy Scouts. I don't know how old it is, but if someone can date it for me, that'd be great.